what's up everybody it is your girl gotta drop it diva i know i have been in my a i'm sorry i've been lifing i just want to talk to you tell you guys where i've been what i've been up to if you want to see exactly where i've been and what i've been up to then just make sure to stay tuned and keep watching Dreaming in the dark, we are nothing more than dust. Search, but you stay lost. Hey everybody it's your girl gotta drop a diva i know i have been m.i.a and i miss you guys so much and i just want to come and talk to you guys and tell you a little bit about where i've been and what i've been up to i keep trying to record these videos and then my day goes crazy so i never completely finish it um so the first thing i want to tell you is I've been lifing and life has been lifing and I just been trying to get myself together. So kind of taking a break, trying to regroup and regrab so I can get back on the right path because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have fell off the wagon a little bit, not a whole lot, not, I haven't gained weight, but I haven't lost weight. I'll leave it at that. I haven't gained weight, but I haven't lost weight and I know I haven't been doing exactly what I need to do. So I need to pick that back up and get back on this journey i will say i am over on tiktok and i have another channel with my daughter and i've kind of been focusing on doing things with her because i see my daughter going down the same path i went down with the eating the emotional eating the food the this that and the other and i'm like i know that sign i know what that's like i've been there and i've done that and i don't want my daughter to have to go through having surgery like I had surgery and I also don't want her to get to the point where um kids are cruel real cruel like honestly I had tough skin growing up my daughter she's sweet she's soft she doesn't have the same type of skin to deal with the things that people say so bullying is real and I will say that so I have been putting a whole lot more of my focus and my attention into my daughter and us starting this journey so we just started up a journey together and you may have seen before we've started we just have to stay consistent and that's my fault and stick with it so that's one of the places where I've been too I started a new job so before you know I was out door dashing and ubering so I had a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more time my job that I have now it has me all over the place so different schedules different days different locations so I'm moving kind of around so I don't have that that flexibility like I used to have but I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna still do my videos the best I can um, and then I know I've talked to you guys in previous videos about pain that I was having and I've had a couple of procedures done. I never even posted a video. Like I had this one procedure done back in December. The procedure that I had done back in December, it was an epidural. It's not the epidural that you would think about when you have a baby. This epidural was for the pain I'm experiencing. They don't know what it's called, but probably a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, it started right after I had my surgery. I start experiencing this numbness, tingling in my behind. And it was hard to explain. Like I would go to the doctors, they would be like, well, did you fall? Did you injure yourself? Did you do this? I'm like, nothing happened. I'm like, they did all these x-rays, MRIs, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line, nobody could re really figure out where this pain was coming from. So it was hindering me being able to work out like I wanted to because sitting for a long time would bother me if i get on my bike lord the seat on my bike is just a no-go that was bothering me so i'm like i need some answers so i must have went back and forth to the doctor a good six months before they're like you know what we're gonna refer you to a pain management clinic and then we'll go from there so long story short i want to say maybe around about september maybe sooner around about september i got referred to pain management pain management took me through this whole gruesome process like i felt like i was a drug addict but i guess they need to know all of that before they give you things for pain anyway they first started off by giving me something for pain that wasn't really working they gave me gabapentin that wasn't really working i mean it did work 
But the thing is, you can only take it when you're going to sleep. So I don't know if it worked or not, really, because I would be asleep. Um, but the pain would reoccur. So in December, they were like, we need to do this cocktail. I'm not, I'm not a medical person, so I'm probably butchering this. But they're like, we need to do this epidural, basically. Um, I don't know the medical term for it, and you're behind. And not of the procedure, but after I left that procedure. And I was, like, traumatized after I had this procedure done. Like, it was gruesome. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Like, a needle in in your behind. I know that's TMI, but I'm just telling y'all what I've been going through. Um, but, yeah, that was gruesome. So, um I have to follow up like maybe every two to three weeks just to see what my pain and honestly that procedure did help and I didn't want to put myself in a position where I ever had to have that procedure again but they keep following up with me every two to three weeks and they're like what's your pain level blah 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 the pain was getting better well what did I do my daughter's school had a skating event I decided to go skating and I was doing good because I used to skate when I was a kid. I was no pro, but I could skate. I was doing really good. And then they put on the cha-cha slide. So you already know what happens when you put on the cha-cha slide, right? You're going to dance. Well, I kind of forgot I was on the skates. I didn't forget I was on the skates, but cha-cha slide on the skates versus being on the regular floor, not the same. Anyway, I fell and bust my ass hard. Do. Of all the places I could have failed, dead on my ass was not the place. But anyway, I might insert that clip. I might not. I don't know. It was kind of funny. But um, it was the only time I failed while I was skating. The whole day I was skating. But I already knew I was going to pay for that later. So I started getting this pain again. And this was about three weeks ago. But I was already scheduled for this procedure that I had today. Today, it was like they did something to my sciatic nerve. It wasn't as bad, thankfully, as that first um, procedure that I had done. But instantly when she did, I got this numbness on the left side of my behind. And it went down the back of my leg. So I'm actually still sitting outside of the place. And I'm sorry about that glare, y'all. The sun is, is sun in here. Um, but... That's just a little summary of what I've been up to. I know I said that all kind of quick and fast, but I'm making a comeback. So y'all keep an eye out for me. I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't fall off the face of the earth. I am going to take you guys along with me just to kind of spend a day with me and see what I do. I am lucky to be off work today, so I have a little bit more time. So I've been wanting my coffee, but I thought... I bet I get coffee before I come here because I'm getting all jittery and nervous and all that other stuff. So let's head to one of my new favorite coffee spots and let's go get some coffee. We're going to Eliano's. Not of the procedure, but after I left that procedure and I was like traumatized after I had this procedure done. Like it was gruesome. I wouldn't wish that on nobody like a needle in in your behind i know that's tmi but i'm just telling y'all what i've been going through um but yeah that was gruesome so um i have to follow up like maybe every two to three weeks just to see what my pain and honestly that procedure did help and i didn't want to put myself in a position where i ever had to have that procedure again but they keep following up with me every two to three weeks and they're like what's your pain level blah 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 the pain was getting better well what did I do? My daughter's school had a skating event. I decided to go skating and I was doing good because I used to skate when I was a kid. I was no pro, but I could skate. I was doing really good. And then they put on the cha-cha slide. So you already know what happens when you put on the cha-cha slide, right? You're going to dance. Well, I kind of forgot I was on the skates. I didn't forget I was on the skates, but cha-cha slide on the skates versus being on the regular floor, not the same. Anyway, I fell and bust my ass hard. Do of all the places I could have fell, dead on my ass was not the place. But anyway, I might insert that clip. I might not. I don't know. It was kind of funny, but um, it was the only time I fell while I was skating. The whole day I was skating, but I already knew I was going to pay for that later. So I started getting this pain again, and this was about three weeks ago. But I was already scheduled for this procedure that I had today. Today, it was like they did something to my sciatic nerve. It wasn't as bad, thankfully, as that first um, 
procedure that I had done but instantly when she did I got this numbness on the left side of my behind and it went down the back of my leg so I'm actually still sitting outside of the place and I'm sorry about that glare y'all the sun is is sun in here um but that's just a little summary of what I've been up to I know I said that all kind of quick and fast but I'm making a comeback so y'all keep an eye out for me I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't fall off the face of the earth I am going to take you guys along with me just kind of spend a day with me and see what I do I am lucky to be off work today so I have a little bit more time so I've been wanting my coffee but I thought I better not get coffee before I come here because I'm getting all jittery and nervous and all that other stuff so Let's head to one of my new favorite coffee spots and let's go get some coffee. We're going to Eliano's. Not of the procedure, but after I left that procedure and I was like traumatized after I had this procedure done. Like it was gruesome. I wouldn't wish that on nobody like a needle in in your behind. I know that's TMI, but I'm just telling y'all what I've been going through. Um, But yeah, that was gruesome. So um. I have to follow up like maybe every two to three weeks just to see what my pain and honestly that procedure did help and I didn't want to put myself in a position where I ever had to have that procedure again but they keep following up with me every two to three weeks and they're like what's your pain level blah 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 the pain was getting better well what did I do my daughter's school had a skating event I decided to go skating and I was doing good because I used to skate when I was a kid. I was no pro, but I could skate. I was doing really good. And then they put on the cha-cha slide. So you already know what happens when you put on the cha-cha slide, right? You're going to dance. Well, I kind of forgot I was on the skates. I didn't forget I was on the skates, but cha-cha slide on the skates versus being on the regular floor, not the same. Anyway, I fell and bust my ass hard. Do. Of all the places I could have failed, dead on my ass was not the place. But anyway, I might insert that clip. I might not. I don't know. It was kind of funny. But um, it was the only time I failed while I was skating. The whole day I was skating. But I already knew I was going to pay for that later. So I started getting this pain again. And this was about three weeks ago. But I was already scheduled for this procedure that I had today. Today, it was like they did something to my sciatic nerve. It wasn't as bad, thankfully, as that first um, procedure that I had done. But instantly when she did, I got this numbness on the left side of my behind. And it went down the back of my leg. So I'm actually still sitting outside of the place. And I'm sorry about that glare, y'all. The sun is, is sun in here. Um, but... That's just a little summary of what I've been up to. I know I said that all kind of quick and fast, but I'm making a comeback. So y'all keep an eye out for me. I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't fall off the face of the earth. I am going to take you guys along with me just to kind of spend a day with me and see what I do. I am lucky to be off work today, so I have a little bit more time. So I've been ready. Come along with me as I go in for this procedure to see what's going on with the pain I've been having in my legs and in my behind. I've told you guys previously about this pain. So today they're doing another procedure. Um, and I'll touch bases a little bit more, but I'm about to head inside. So let's go. So I am at the pain management doctor. The first step when you come in the door, you have to pee in the cup. I don't know if they check to make sure you're not addicted because they are subscribing painkillers to a lot of people. So pee in the cup is the first step. As soon as you walk in the door, they don't do anything else for you until you pee in this cup. Wanted my coffee, but I thought I better not get coffee before I come here because I'm getting all jittery and nervous and all that other stuff. So let's head to one of my new favorite coffee spots and let's go get some coffee. We're going to Eliano's. All right, so first stop, I went to my new, it's probably backwards, but this is my new coffee place. It's local here where I live. If you haven't tried them and you have one, definitely check them out. But Iliano's, they have Red Bull slushies. They have breakfast bowls. They have egg bites. They have cookies, muffins. I know this is a healthy channel, but the um, egg bites. And then they have the breakfast bowls. And then they have like all these different coffees. This is a caramella. It's a frozen coffee with um, caramel in it. This particular one is not sugar-free. They normally put whipped cream. I don't do the whipped cream. And then um, 
yeah it's really 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 good um if i may say so myself they actually shitting on starbucks so get you definitely do sugar free on this i actually forgot to tell the lady so it's a little sweet for my liking it's good though but um a little sweet i'm thinking about how i can i think this has two shots of espresso in there um i'm thinking about how i can recreate this at home and use sugar-free vanilla or sugar-free caramel i'm sure i can But nevertheless, it's good. I just probably won't be able to drink the whole thing because of the sweetness of it. All right, so since I'm out and about today, I just decided to go treat myself to a little quick lunch while my daughter's at school having a my a, a me day. So yeah, came to get me some shrimp. I'm hungry too. I'm ready to eat. I'm actually at Red Crab. Here's the menu. I know you probably can't see it that well, but they have all kind of seafood. Here is what All I right, This is what I got. It came with one corn, one potato, some shrimp, and then I just have lemon. That is all I need. And then I have me a good cup of water. Sometimes you need to just treat yourself. I felt like treating myself for lunch. So this is what I ate. Um, I ate everything. And yes, I went back and ate that one last little shrimp because I was not leaving it. This is how much I paid for everything. It was very cheap. I'm a very cheap date for myself and I love it. $10.75. All right, guys. So I ate my lunch. As you can see, it was real tasty and I was really hungry. I didn't get a chance to finish all of my coffee. I forgot to tell them to make it with almond milk so I could only do so much dairy. Other than that, I really haven't ate since lunch yesterday. I know that's not good. I had um a few snacks but i ate a tuna sandwich yesterday so i didn't have any breakfast so that's why you see me eat all of my lunch i am almost three years in september post-op so i'm able to eat a little bit more but this will hold me over i may i may not eat something for dinner but for right now i'm full and i'm good to go i am thirsty but even almost at three years post-op i have to wait 30 minutes before drinking something otherwise it's no good so next up, I'm just going to head to a few stores and do some shopping or returning some things until I go get my daughter from school. Grab my daughter. Officially, we ran into Dollar Tree, so I got this Diet Green Tea. I don't drink them very often, but I kind of had a taste for it. So I went ahead and got this green tea. And next up, we're headed to the park. It's actually touching the ground. Guys, my daughter and I are on a fitness journey, so basically we're doing this thing together. So today we decided to go to the park and play. We were here a little bit over an hour. She even got me on the little, I don't even know what you call this thing. It was like a swing, but it wasn't quite a swing. But we just have a really good time, and it's also great bonding time for us to spend time with one another as well. And we go around searching for different parks just to have a good time. Go slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, seven, seventy-eight, seven, seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Woohoo! That's my girl. Next up, you see me. Here I am on this workout equipment. Um, I'm doing basically the same thing my daughter was doing. It's basically just from another angle. I love that we found a park that actually has workout equipment in the middle of the park. I have never seen this before, but we frequently go to this park ever since we found it. Like I said, we just kind of Google different parks and go there and check them out and see how we like them. If we like them, we just add it to our go-to list of parks. And this one just happens to be pretty convenient to where we live. So yeah, I'm getting it in also.
here you see my daughter she's on this um i guess it's kind of like a lift thing i don't even remember what it was called but we were trying to figure out how it works and then my daughter kind of got excited she figured it out <laughs> you believe you could fly where did that come from i believe i can fly I believe I can touch. What you know about that song? <laughs> it wasn't crazy like in the London, go 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 London. Hey, hey. <laughs> London was enjoying the swing and she was just dancing and like I said this is a really good bonding time for us we spent over an hour I believe at the park but she loves it and I love it as well so yeah. the crazy thing is next up you see London climbing up on this I don't know what you call this either I don't know this park is very unique and they have a lot of different things that you would typically find at a park so it's great for working out working out doesn't have to be all about actual work like we were actually having fun and enjoying our mommy daughter time and that's my goal so here you're gonna see london climb on this and she actually had me climbing on it as well um i don't know we got a clip but it is on tiktok i think and we're just chilling here we took a break and we're relaxing it's a swing that spins around and london can't really do the spinning because of her vertigo so we were just relaxing on there and just talking i would recommend this place <laughs> careful i don't know there you go see yeah i don't want to spin you though yeah Relaxing, we can just come here and eat smoothies and just chill. Hey, this gonna be like chill, <laughs> stretch. I think my knees, 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 knees. I can run. headed to Publix and London got her free kids fruit here's what London is having for dinner we basically made it back home she had Mediterranean meatballs and a Mediterranean salad that's what London was having for dinner and then for myself I decided to make Mediterranean tilapia I popped it in the air fryer it had kamala olives cherry tomatoes onions like seasoned with Mediterranean seasoning I cooked it in the air fryer. Um, I put the foil in there just so everything could kind of stay intact. And it didn't take long at all to cook it in the air fryer, honestly, probably about 10 minutes or so. And here's how it turned out. It was absolutely delicious. Here's my dinner. And this is where I've been, guys. If you like seeing videos like this, be sure to comment. We will definitely try to do more, but there's my dinner. Bye. In the dark, we are nothing more than dust. Search for you.